What is up, YouTube world? I'm Ashley D. Before I get started, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Also, feel free to share this video as well. Everything I state is allegedly not a guaranteed fact, my own personal opinion and observation. I promised to keep everyone updated. Unfortunately, I did not know it would be this sudden on my Saturday. However, I'm going to do it. Well, we have Miss Light on ya, having the kids packed up in the car, getting ready to send them with their father. That was very disturbing. So they're sitting in the car. It seems as though there was no AC on. She can't even look in the camera on the live because she feels shamed. She cannot interact with anyone because she's upset. I'm assuming she sent the kids away so she can try to get her relationship fixed back up with Mr. Ed or figure out what her next move is. So they're waiting to get ready to go with the father. What disturbed me in the beginning of that, her daughter was trying to say something to her. Her little toddler, she kept telling her, wait a minute. And then the kids go in the store. She tell them, get one thing. For one, if they're going on a road trip, you might want to send them off with some snacks. You have, you know, a nice amount of kids. I don't know what your child's father pockets is like, but just being the mother that I am, I'm going to send them with some snacks, especially if they're at the store. Why not? Not to mention, you tell those kids to get one thing. So they're going to get some chips. What are they going to drink? They're going to get on the road with some chips and their mouth is going to be hot from Takis, allegedly, flaming hot Cheetos or whatever chip they have. They can't even wash it down. But yet, you can go on vacation after vacation, buy Rolexes, buy what? Rings, buy clothes, buy shoes, cater to parties and so, so many more things. But you see your children in the store and you make sure they FaceTime you. So you make sure they're getting one thing. And that's one of the reasons I'm doing my video right now because I'm living. You spend all your money people pleasing your friends, allegedly, your man child. And when it comes to your kids getting ready to leave, they only could get one freaking thing out of the store. And you made sure of that. And then you're acting as though you're worried about what's being spent on your credit card. That's the energy I got from you and it's like dang you big flexor right you big baller shot caller making moves but your kids only allowed to get one thing out of the store and you can't sit up and say because you're not the type of mother well i don't want to mess up their teeth and they shouldn't be eating that they're getting ready to go with their father they're getting ready to take a little road trip they might want to wash something down with something to drink miss lionia i'm quite sure you would have done that if mr ed was with you or if he even went in the store with the kids, you guys probably would have got a whole bunch of snacks. Now you're scratching your head because you wish you could get rid of baby girl, but now you actually have to be a mom now for this moment. And then you send Miss Beautiful, your oldest daughter, I don't even want to say her name, but you send her away, half getting her hair done. Like someone stated, thanks to you in the comment section that you didn't even send her to the best. So you sent her away with her father, as well as your sons. They make sure their hair was taken care of before they left, even if they're going with their fathers. When my child goes with his fathers, I'm going to make sure his hair is lined up just in case they make some stops some places. And me being the mother that I am, I feel good when I do that. Now, if he's over there more than a week or two and he needs another line, that falls upon his dad. That's something he needs to take care of. However, I would never send my child away without doing my part on my end, especially if I have the money and the resources to do so. And you're making your daughter have to do her own hair while she's on this trip instead of you getting it braided. And you knew she was gonna sweat it out from that hot weather. So you took her to a salon, let them have flat iron, it's something you could have did at home. And now you're sending her on her way with her dad. Who's going to fix and comb her hair? She has to do that. But yet you have braids. When it comes to your kids, you're always half doing something and it's not fair or not cool. You let them go. You didn't hug them. The oldest son tried to hug you and you gave him the one type of hug that you give a guy when he likes you, but you're trying to create that distance there so he doesn't get the wrong impression. And you didn't hug your other kids. 
Tomorrow is not promised, Miss Lyonia. Those are your children you gave birth to for crying out loud. Give them the same love and compassion and empathy that you give the guys. That you put all your resources, your energy, your money, and your time into. Love your kids like that. You never know what's going to happen. And you're leaving off with your kids not even hugging the other two and half hugging the one that did try to love on you. What kind of hug was that? And then they said, we love you. Love you too. We miss you. We'll miss you. I'm not going to miss you. Oh yeah, you're going to miss that oldest daughter. You know why? Because you don't have a babysitter. You can't run through the house and constantly call Mr. Ed and get into arguments with him and spy as much as you would like and keep in contact and doing what he's doing, worried about what he's doing. Shame on you. And that video was despicable. You should have never showed it. You should have never went live with that type of energy. You could not look in the camera. You did not care what was going on with your kids and they're leaving with their father and you could care less about interacting with them before they leave. Not to mention your oldest daughter seems so happy to look on her face to know that she doesn't have to babysit. She doesn't no longer have to be a mother for that moment. She could actually go by her father's house and be a kid. So I was so happy for her. And best believe she's excited about that. And then your other son, when you show the father-son moment, since you want to act like they have this amazing bond, he badly hugged him. The son kind of acted like, you know, he really didn't know him like that. If you want to be honest, he didn't hug him like, hey, dad, I miss you. I'm excited to go with you. Not to mention, you held on to your child's father saying, bop, bop. Okay, that's over and done with. Where is bop, bop? You're holding on to that word and you thought that was so funny. And then throughout him being right there in that transaction of you guys getting a kid situated, you bring it up again. Like, do you not understand? Your boyfriend was exposed from liking the rainbow, not to mention messing with someone else allegedly. He's in New York, constantly posting videos, having the time of his life, sweetheart. He doesn't seem as though your breakup or whatever you two are going through has impacted him in any way. But yet you're continuing to hold on to this little lame slogan that you created when you was in Jamaica. Worry about your kids. Learn how to be a mother. Better yet, take this time off to heal and love yourself first. But I know this message is going to go over your head. But it was a shame to see that live. And that's why I'm putting out this video. Try again. I'm Ashley D. Hopefully, this is the last time you hear from me today, you guys. But I'm sure you saw the live as well. Leave your opinion down below and what you think. I'll be speaking to each and every one of you soon. Take care. Bye.